Okay, I'm gonna need to take this off this heat shield first. Do you need me to hold it? No, it's on. I'll just take it off because we gotta take it off eventually. Oh, hey, we should grab a box. Does that exhaust come off now? Yeah, it does, but you don't want to take this off, so I'm going to This tool is the best. bolts here mm -hmm. where you put your turbo oh you mount your turbo on it yeah the exhaust to the side because that's side is this 10 I think that was your custom how to awesome custom nut job Should I take off the gaskets? Sure, throw them in the box and the insulator. I know we're getting new ones. Ooh. Yeah, that broke. It's fine, we're getting new ones. I mean, right. this isn't going to be new, but the right. other two are. Are we going to degrease this entire pig or? Maybe. We should. I'll take it apart first. I don't see any reason to take that off. I do. It's going to get in the way and I'm going to break it right. when my arm is resting well, on it. Well, it's lost later. Oh, let's see what's next. That screw. Thank you. 
and take the head off. Use the big ratchet over there. Oh, that's tightening. I would use that one right there. And I would not put an extension on it. It's always about you, isn't it? No, but an extension, although minor, makes you lose torque. I would crack them all loose before you unthread them. That way you take equal pressure off of the head. Keep it from warping. It's not even warm. I didn't say warm. Oh. It's a joke. What's this? Some mouse mouse turds. Probably. Looks like a piece of wood. Washers. Yeah. We'll clean it off when we get it out. Yeah, that is one small piston. Mm -hmm. That's what 60 cc's oh, look like. That arrow down goes uh, to the exhaust, yep. Arrow is always exhaust or mag side. Okay, so what next? So that actually is a metal gasket. Yeah. Okay. It's a Take those off and throw that gasket in the box. Now that I put them back on. Well, I just didn't want to lose them. That's why we have the box. Okay, so it does have a gasket. We'll get a new one of those too. With our kit. That doesn't mean you can destroy it though. Okay. Go ahead. We did it. Nasty. Seventy years of junk on the bottom here. Is the base gasket on the bottom? Yes. And peel that off. Just basically welded. No, if you scratch it, you're don't don't do that with a screwdriver because if you scratch it, it'll I'm just gonna leave it on then. cause an air leak. Okay, we'll get it off later. There you go. Almost. Try not to mar up the piston, would you? I'm not trying to. I didn't say you were trying to, I said try not to. I am not trying to. And I'm trying not to. But then when it breaks free. Oh, here we go. Yes. This is the part where we gotta be careful, isn't no, it? No, you can just pop the bottom out. What? Just pop that out. The rest, no, the bottom. That part. The bottom doesn't tell me anything. The down? Which way is down? Down. Yeah, so pop that side out until it comes out. There you go. Fell in there. Make sure you set it aside. Alright. That is the perfect size. Top tip. Use your screwdriver when taking apart your Articat Kitty Cat engine. Take your. Here's your pin. Put that back in there. Try not to put it through the side with the clip still in it. Okay, let's look at it. I think we don't try to. That makes you go eight miles per hour. How amazing. Really though, for how old it is, it's in pretty good shape. Until I marred it up. Not a lot of blow by. Not a lot of scoring. This rod just fell out the bearing. Rod bearing. That's okay, it's supposed to. That's genius, look at this. Yep. It has these little... It's called a needle bearing. 
So each one of those has a roller in it. And what you look for on these, Zach, mm -hmm. is if they've turned blackish blue, That's Ours that means different. heat. Mm -hmm. They get kind of a blackish blue. This one looks pretty good. Okay, now what? So now we follow the directions. No. Do you want to use the impact f feature of it? No. I think you it's, should. It's rotating it. Huh? It'll just spin it. No, it. That's the point of it is that it, you're hitting in while it's spinning. No, you're going the wrong way. Is there lock washers on those? I don't, know. I don't think so. Yeah, there is, and you're just throwing them around. I can't wait to see you put this back together with how disorganized you are. All of your lock washers are going to be on different screws and nuts and... Is it lock washers? It's right there. You can see it. Oh. And you just go like this, like, no big deal. It's a regular washer, isn't it? It's a lock washer, it's just squished. So it could probably use some new ones? Okay. That's not my point, Zach. That was my point, too. You're not going to have a good time putting it back together. Um, let's see. And then you want to make Orange sure... Orange head gasket there. The orientation of this, you check. So this Should I write it on it with a marker? No, just so that you know it's raised on the back. We're videotaping it, so we'll know. The starter cup. That's all. It's good. Okay, two goes over that deal. We just need to remember that the raised part goes toward the engine. Okay. And these go in the box. Sorry. Is that what it says? Now it says remove the four countersunk screws carrying the fan and remove the fan. To use the impact feature again. You have to do it, I think, on the ground. Did it work? I don't know. Nope. that work? Don't let it reset, you're gonna strip it. Good God. He's gonna oh, like this. I just don't wanna hit you on the head. Okay, we're going to use an impact driver to get these fan screws loose. So we got it set to loosen when you impact. Does that loosen it up? Yes. Okay. And get the next one. Okay, good. Okay, then we'll just take them out now that they're cracked loose. No, nope. I think once we take oh, the fan yeah, off, we'll put them back in there, maybe. I thought that it was all part of it. Maybe, we'll see. I think that we're still going to need new screws and maybe a torque wrench. No, we can reuse those screws. No. Do they have Loctite blue on them? Nope. Jeez, they were just that tight. How's that the heads didn't break off? Ooh, I see that actually. She's loose, huh? Yeah. OK, 
Okay, let's put it back up on the table and see what the instructions say. I don't think those are pinned, are they? What do you mean? I don't think these are tightened, are they? No. I never, I never tightened it. <laughs> well, it doesn't need to be because it's keyed. Yeah. And it has the... Yeah. It has the bolt. Just pull hard. It's just, uh... I'm just trying to get a good advantage. Kind of, uh, wiggle it. Like that? Yeah. Just throw it into the dollhouse. Oh, here's the key. Yeah, that's fine. No, you can throw that in the box. Uh, is it supposed to be small? Yeah, look, see? It only goes through the... Yeah, but then why did they groove the entire thing here? Mm -hmm. But I know it catches on this, okay. not that. Oh. Is that bad? What? That right there? How it's kind of grooved out? No, that's just where it's been resting. Oh. It's fine. That's. It's not critical other than that it holds the clutch. It's not stripped out. Yeah. And this clutch is relatively new. I'm gonna throw the key in the box. Okay. Okay, we we'll put a. Yeah, well, if you, in the words of James May, if you're watching this from a university, this is not the proper technique. Right. We put a screwdriver through the rod upper end bearing hole, and that's what held it in place while we loosened the flywheel nut. The lock washer's in here, aren't we? No. See, this has gone from the lock washer. No, you, it's fine. You can just bend it. Okay, let's put these in the box. Okay, so what we need to do is get a <clears throat> either a harmonic balancer puller to thread into these three, and then it'll press against the shaft here and pull out, um, pull out on the flywheel until it pops off. So we're gonna have to mark the distance of those holes and then go to O'Reilly's and see if we can find one. Um, Yay! Yeah, one thing to note though is you don't want to use the screws for your starter cup. When you do that, you want to go get a separate, a new bolt to put in here, a hardened bolt like a grade 5 or a grade 8. And that way it's stronger, but don't thread them through the back because you'll hit these coils in here and you'll ruin the coils. So you just thread them in enough so that they're able to hold while it's pulling the flywheel off. So we're gonna have to go find a flywheel puller with this size um, spacing. What can we do in the meantime? Nothing. We can't take off the coil? No, nope, we're gonna do it in order. That's lame. Okay, so what we did is we just put this over the top and marked the three holes in blue there that are part of the what we need the puller to attach to. And then we'll take the screws that came out of the f uh, starter cup with us so that we get the thread right for the bolts. And then we just need long enough bolts and a flywheel puller that's that size. All right. Keep an eye on down in here to make sure that doesn't slide off. Okay. And, and then, it slid off. <laughs> yeah, but there's not enough room to put the cap on there. Well, it has one of these things that you can put on there that we can try it. No. Okay, go. Oh my god, it just fell off. Oh wait, that's what we wanted it to do. And we totally remembered to record. 
Okay. So it's not going to happen like that. You're going to have a much worse time, and there's going to be a loud noise. Yeah, it, it, it's tight, but it will come off. And you got to have a rod, or you got to have a screwdriver through your rod. Can you get that woodruff key out? Yeah. Easy. So that we don't lose it? Japanese fingers. You're right, I need a... <coughs> By the way, <coughs> uh, that's not the right tool for the job. If you're watching from the university. So we're just going to account for the flywheel key. And <coughs> I feel like I'm gonna drop it. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. You can pull it out now with your fingers. No, you can't. It's not the right. It... Just grab it. I had it. See? Oh, yeah, like that. Okay, so that's the flywheel key. Yeah. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Hey, knock it off. But all we need to do now is take these three... Uh, we're not going to do it now, though, because we have to mark... This whole stator plate is in there at a certain angle. Right. And that's the timing of the engine. So, so you, if you, you see put how it these... Back wrong, you're gonna have a bad time. If you put it back wrong, it's going to be timed wrong. But do you see how there's slots? Could you advance your timing by doing that? Yeah, you, you probably could. But do you see those slots? Yeah. So those slots we have to mark somewhere on the housing. My name isn't Mark. Maybe right right here is a mark. Well, yeah, right here is a mark and here is a mark. But inside of here on that screw, there's also a mark there. So maybe that's the intention to mark the timing. So what what this was designed to do is when you boost it inevitably because that's definitely what we're gonna do we're gonna put a big old TDO for uh, you move it so that you don't blow up your engine. It's possible, but all I know is that we have to make another mark to scribe the where where it's sitting orientation wise so that when we put it back together it'll go back together exactly right. But. That's all we're going to do for tonight, I think. Is that okay? Yeah. No, absolutely not. Because <clears throat> I don't want to mess with this stator when I don't know all the parts. Yay! All right. Day one. Yep, day one. We got done with that much. Was that five hours? Uh, It's what, right now? 8.30? Yeah. yeah. We started at 5? Yeah. So three and a half hours. No, we didn't start at 5. We started way before 5. We started in, when I got home. No. Oh, yeah, we started at 4. So, four and a half hours. But, but look at how much two hours of that was, like, driving around. Yeah. Getting stuff like these. These are 5-millimeter, uh, uh, or M5 s screws. Will you knock it off? Sorry. These are M5 screws that are 40 millimeters long, and we just got some grade 5 washers um, from our kit, and this is a harmonic balancer puller that's free from O'Reilly Auto. So It's not free, free after... While you borrow it, and they charge you $27 or whatever, and then they... Um, refund you when you bring it back. So, and if you don't bring it back, they <coughs> charge you a lot of money. This harmonic balancer puller worked on this Kitty Cat engine, but it also worked on my XLT. Six hundred. Yeah, it's a six hundred, no, but it's six fifty. No, it was a five eighty that's bored out to a six hundred. Oh, yeah. So, so that works and it's free. So if you're ever doing something like this, check that out. All right, we'll record more later. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, but you won't know it's tomorrow because it'll all be in one video. We're not doing it all in one video. Yeah, we are. Okay. The tear down. All right, bye.